Want to do a walk around of the uh, Intech Fly Explorer? We've had it for about three months, but uh, because of what's happening right now in the world, uh, we weren't able to go camping in it. But it's a 2019 Intech Flyer Explorer with a single pop out. I've seen multiple videos out there, but it's from like dealers. So I just wanted to give you my uh, personal opinion and. We got it because we both ride motorcycles, so it's able to fit two sport bikes in here. I mean, it's able to fit more. If you uh, do some more research, you can fit different bikes, but this thing here folds down. The back door folds down. Excuse the mess. Uh, but yeah, you can fit. It's got, if you look at the eyelid, it's got uh, three up top and then three back in the back. But you're able to fit uh, two adults in there and... <laughs> <laughs> two dogs <laughs> but uh when it's hot it's you can turn the ac on but i don't know we, we slept in it the first night we were here and last night i stepped on the floor i have two of these uh self-inflating mattresses uh this has a mattress in there we had it we bought a fitted sheet jenna bought a, a protective sheet and then the fitted sheet is over we just used a um full size for both options and it's, it's a little more than you need, but it, it fits. It gets the job done. But anyways, um, so yeah, back door folds down. Uh, so you, basically a ramp. You got light switches here, light switches there, your control for your fan. Anyways, so we use the AC. It is really loud. And um, But anyways, the fan, uh, the fan's loud too. It's not as loud as the AC, but this one has the uh, AC and heater, All right? Uh, and then your fan up there, your fan you can set to your different settings. You can uh, blow in or um, use it as an exhaust also. But anyway, so you got your net here. You can put random stuff there. Uh, <clears throat> spare tire if you need it. This is your other entry, your door entry. If you get the single, you got one and then door entry. If you get a double pop out, obviously you don't have this window here. And you have the double doors and then no entry door here. But this window here slides open. And then storage up here with lights. Your radio, which you can connect to your uh, Bluetooth or via Bluetooth to your phone. And then fire extinguisher. This netting here we use for mainly dog stuff. Up here we're going to probably get some uh, bins or put some wood up to make compartments. Because things just slide around. We have a lot of stuff there. We, bought, we brought more things than we actually needed. Uh, just because it was our first time being using the Explorer and uh, our third time camping so we weren't sure what we we're gonna use or we weren't gonna use um, and then a big counter here which some people have put the bars that you can get for your truck bed put them here to stop things from coming out uh, we do have it hooked up to shore power so that's how we're able to use the AC the tongue box I got from Harbor Freight and that one uh, I swapped it out for the other one that one's plastic I wasn't sure that it was gonna be super reliable but this one here and i'll open it in a little bit but uh this tongue box got from harbor freight for 90 bucks i believe it was uh this is useful all right uh it's got i use this for trash bags and then it's got a bottle opener the refrigerator you can set your different settings we have a lot of things in here we got some v8 juice we have uh, uh burger patties that were made eggs i have a uh, hot dogs i brought some biscuits and cinnamon rolls this side over here i have veggies i have all the veggies on this side but it holds a lot of stuff here um this is mainly for food i have a cooler for the um uh, sodas but the stove so it does uh it's very small and then constrictive because of this area so i use the uh but i use the fire more i use this mainly for breakfast because it's quick and easy the compartment here we have uh, some our buns uh, i have utensils uh, spoons and stuff i got napkins some canned food back there uh, extra plates here i got some bowls a one bottle of propane uh, to fit into here in case i don't fit my propane bottle which i'll show you in a second of why it's not hooked up 
Uh, and then extra utensils like uh, tongs, big spoons, another knife, and a spatula. <clears throat> so, when I bought this, I installed the, um, the propane holder that comes with the trailer here. And uh, when I reached over, I didn't actually hook it up. I just saw that it, it, would, it would reach. Right? So, hooked it up. And guess what? It doesn't reach. So you can also hook it up here. Once you look at the schematic or the diagrams, you can find the frame of the actual trailer and uh, see where the bolt is. There's other other ways to do it. Also, you can have you can just put the bolts in and then have another metal um, bar on the inside to disperse the weight and still hold the propane bottle. For water, which um, you don't need. What I have is uh, I made this little contraption. Here's a I use a water pump, but uh, there's your water pump and then uh, your glomerular tank for your back pressure, so it's not continuously running. And I have this here. Uh, I got the the seven gallon, which I got to refill. I put it in here and it sucks up the water, comes back down. And then here's the uh, exhaust, so I hook up. I got a quick quick disconnect on that, which here's my hose for it. Just hook it up to here. And then once I, I install the switch also, water on the go. So yeah, and that I just use the Apache 3800, again from Harbor Freight. The trailer did come with the Batwing awning, which comes out, covers a good portion. Comes all the way around covers a lot if you don't pay attention to it um, let me climb up here you gotta be careful when you deploy this because if not you'll snap one of these snap from this thing here and I guess they're made to do that it comes with two extra ones but uh that's a hassle so now I just got to replace it just removing this bolt or removing this nut and then sliding this bolt out sliding this thing out and putting the new one in but other than that it's a functional awning Restore. If you want antenna, if you want solar, um, there's a zap connector. I got the Renogy, uh, the Renogy 100 watt kit or suitcase, and then I bought um, cables to basically extend it. A lot of people are saying that uh, that you have to swap them out, but the connector that came with it. Uh, I guess it was it was connected the right way because here I looked to see to make sure and they're connected negative and positive the right way so I didn't have to reverse them but some people say they had to buy the a reversing connector so yeah are we happy with the Explorer do we like it yeah love it uh, it's functional we bought this the Explorer itself specifically because we're able to hook up the shore power um, we take the dogs also. That was a big thing is trying to take the dogs and the motorcycle. So here we can get to the campsite, hook up shore power, uh, turn on the AC if it's hot, heater if it's cold, and then go for, you know, 30 minute, 45 minute ride, explore, explore the area wherever we are, and then come back and the dogs are fine. Uh, that was our biggest thing is the motorcycles and then being able to uh, ensure the dogs have uh, air, uh, be it AC, just a fan, or heater. Uh, so that's that was the two selling points for this specific uh, camper. Also, the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that those uh, swivel joints on the awning for the awning uh, can snap. Now, I guess from my reading on is they it's built that way. So in case of winds or anything, it snaps at that specific location. Uh, it's good and bad, right? Good because it's if it does snap, that's where it's going to snap and it's easy to replace. Bad because it was designed that way. Um, however, you design it with something else, that's the spot, uh, what any other metal might. <laughs> I think she wants to play. <laughs> I'm coming, let me finish real quick. <laughs> so I'm gonna speed this up. Uh, Storm said speed it up. But I just wanted to give our experience so far with it. Uh, instead of just a quick walk around, right? What we did to it, uh, what we wish it had different uh oh yeah the the mattress uh order an eggshell or order a different mattress uh if you if you have a bad back or if you have a specific mattress at your house uh we already we can already tell i have those two inflating mattresses uh but because the first night was hot 
we took those, I took the self inflating mattress, put it on the floor so I could lay there. Uh, and then Jenna slept in just a mattress alone last night and she said she definitely needs a new mattress or eggshell. She said that, that mattress there isn't going to work for us. I think the last thing I'll add is um, miles per gallon. I have a 2019 Ram 1500 and it gets about, depending on how long I'm going, I think the trip up here was uh, 92 miles and we got down to from... I had my truck at, I think it was 14.2 because of traffic. So it was 14.2. We got it down to 12.3, I believe it was. All right, uh, hopefully I enjoyed the video. Hopefully I wasn't too close up on this. But um, hopefully I enjoyed it. And again, if you have any questions, um, comment below. Hope you enjoyed. All right, thanks for watching.